Welcome back to Pink Flamingo headquarters. Where we drink like we Irish, smoke like we Jamaican, eat like we Italian, and fuck like we porn stars. I'm your host, Cock Star 24 7. And I am Lovely Doll. Welcome back, everybody. It's been a while for us. So today we have a couple new people that we want to introduce to you guys. We have our beautiful Freaky here. Hello from our grown and sexy pink flamingo. And behind the scenes, running camera, we got Digsy and Honey. Hello. Hello. Which many of you know, but they're here with us today, so you'll be hearing their voices from behind. So today we wanted to do a very mature topic, something that we think will be very helpful for the ladies, kind of our own vagina monologues, mm -hmm. grown and sexy style. So Miss Freaky here brought in some fun toys one of which is inside me. It's making me a little wiggly. <laughs> you want to show that one first? Yes. She's, so got, well, got, she's got a little handheld. Mr. Diggs has it too. Somebody's pushing it. <laughs> so this is an internal vibrator that runs off of a Bluetooth app that you can have either Ooh. personal control or you can give control to anyone else who has a smartphone and can download the app and it has Bluetooth. Anywhere in the world they can connect to it and they can take control at any time that you give it to them and they can run. The so you could like be on a cruise. You could be and in like Antarctica. Give it to somebody. Mm -hmm. And Anywhere. you just gave him the app so technically it's just an app with a password. I have to give him right. So you could anywhere internationally. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's intense. As long as you're connected to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So I got introduced to it actually with it's getting introduced and in, in learning more about the cam business so what it's used for with the cam sites is it's connected to these women's um, their profiles when they're doing live shows and people okay. pay tokens or whatever amount for certain amounts of time that they can take control of the vibrator oh, anywhere as, as she's wow. doing a live show right intense yes so they, they, and they so it's interactive like a video exactly. game exactly so they get to see this, you know, superstar porn star, this woman that they've been fantasizing about and never seen yeah. in a room, and they get to get her off, basically by steering it on exactly. The... And right. That's so a good it's... idea, right? <laughs> Money maker. We need to do that, <laughs> all right? That's why yes. Cam women. Thought Face maker. Productions needs to. We could do that. Exactly. Yeah. So how did you find out about that? I was approached. Um, by two different individuals before asking about if I would be interested in, in getting involved in the campsite. You know, they would okay. be they thought I would do well with it. And so okay. after like the second person came up to me that was totally random and asked, I hmm, maybe I should look into it. Check into this. I did. So that was one of the first, like that was one of the toys that again, you kind of get for that interactive. Okay. I had to get the, the lighting, the uh, wireless keyboard so you can message back and forth with them because it is very okay. So you have a conversation too. Oh yes, exactly. That's what it's all about really in these things is they're, they're feeling that interaction with you and you kind of call them out. You get these regulars in your groups or whatnot. Okay. I mean they pay for ridiculous stuff, right? So yeah. you make your own menu. Like you can charge whatever you want. You can charge 10 tokens for a boob slap or to oh, shake okay. their ass or to take one boob out or to um, play with whatever, like, and it's okay. It's, it's kind of crazy the stuff that they. they so do they on. like type a little request on a chat, and then you come to an agreement of the tokens? So they pay for the tokens. So when they put in like, okay, they can push a button, say, okay, ten tokens. I want you to slap your ass. Then she gets the thing up here, and then she slaps her ass for that. Token and should chain ten little tokens. Exactly. And this is totally legal. Completely. There's tons wow. of sites that do it. Absolutely. So those are the live shows with it. And then there's other things. And they do interactive, too, where you have couples, you know, together, or two girls together. You can use it in okay. all different ways with it. So it is. It's about being interactive and giving other people, you know, the ability to. That's insane. Without having So who's the craziest person you've given, you've given uh, the password to? Like, what was the sexiest situation? The sexiest situation? Hmm. Probably the one that worked once. And okay. I gave it to somebody else who I, a co-worker that I was involved oh, with. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, That's fun. Mm -hmm. That's very fun. Yeah. It was, Did you keep it in all day? 
I kept it in during something that was I probably shouldn't have had it in, <laughs> where I needed to have attention to detail and was working with um, patient populations, and it was yeah, that was and the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Naughty, naughty. And I couldn't step out of the room to take it off or to shut it off. So, so you had to wear it. I did. Uh, I was. Yeah. Would you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. It was almost a challenge to see how much I could sit there and not move and. and yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Or like when you did moan, like how I was like, what you. I was well, right and when it goes it. off, you forget it's there, and then when it kicks on, it makes you kind yeah. of oh, yeah. you jolt. A little jolt. It jolts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So, and when you're you're doing things in my field, it's not good to jolt when you're in <laughs> in front of people. But that was probably the weirdest. He he didn't know that I was in um, doing what I was doing at the moment, and so he was just going buck wild with it, trying all oh, the different yeah. patterns and everything. And I had the, my like three leveled up supervisor in the room. Like oh. observing this and having to also I was educating so I was teaching as I was okay. doing it in the room. Oh. Uh -huh. You were really multitasking. I was. Yes. That That's was hot. I wish I could have watched that. I know, right? Just watch your little wiggle. It was trying to step in and it was like having to like move and just kind of shift and then every time I'm like, mm, mm, do you guys, what's that? Do you guys feel that? Do you feel that breeze? Mm. <laughs> or, <laughs> Hmm, what's for lunch? <laughs> Trying to come up with that. I so love that that's awesome. That's so awesome. that's how I got involved with this toy. But it's also for partners for close range, so just like people who you want to go out to dinner and you right. want your you know, significant other can be sitting there, you can be in a restaurant together at dinner and they can turn it on yeah. and have total control. That's cool. Over it. We did it so at the casino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you guys like it? Mm. it. You have the one with the app? Yeah, I got okay. exactly yeah, I had the one exactly with just a little thing. handheld that you can like pass the handheld and it's like high low medium. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we have the exact same one. Cool. No, it is, and I think they have more now. I'm just, I think yeah, they have yeah, like higher upgrades, and they can get like two different ones. I yeah. think they have one where you can stick it, like, anal, anal, yeah. and you can have both. And then the butt plug. plug. Yeah, there's a butt mm -hmm. plug, and I think there they have a prostate. And I think you can run them separate or together. Yeah, you can. You can. I can see it here. Um the different remotes, or I'm sorry, let me go back here, this is the patterns. Uh, yeah, this one you said you could play music and stuff too. So two vibrators, vibrators, and there's a rotation, a contraction, um, what? and there is also a male version for a prostate mm -hmm. um, stimulator as well. Yeah. This one's fun. <laughs> But yeah, so this was just a fun one. Um, Love it's, it. It's a little on the expensive side. I think I want to say it was about 120 something like that. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen those. Did you? Okay. All bookstores. Yeah. Right. It maybe cool. they have cheap ones. It's called Lush. Yeah. If anyone is interested. Um, Very cool. It's a fun toy. So that's the first one. But so cool. the other toys. Um, yes. This one is this one. I know you head. shared with me a week ago. She sent me a little link to this fun toy, and then she sent me a link to the reviews. And I said, "Okay, I gotta get it." Yeah, and then we tried it. So I should make it all better. No. So these two toys, both the next two, are toys that are used for solo play mostly. The other one can be kind of used with somebody, but. I like them both. I think they're the, my favorites because they help you learn, like females learn their bodies and different feelings and how to, um, what gets them off, what they like, you know, um, having to position this. So this goes in vaginally and it has the upward curve where it's a G-spot stimulator. It has 10 different patterns. It can pulse, it can do a whole bunch of crap. And it's very, it's actually a decent pulse. So that's the first part to it is that G-spot mm -hmm. um, stimulator. Which I think it's is super important. It's got a nice important. little hook up in there. It does. Because so right when it hooks under two, you kind of set mm -hmm. it up so it goes up and it hits the G spot. And it's ripped a little bit right there as well. And then that has different pulsing um, vibrations that can go. Whatever. I think it has 10 different ones. So then you have this part here, which is the clit stimulator, which actually does suction on your clit. Um, Yes, and it I think has I don't think I've ever even gotten it close to how high it goes, but it goes up to like I think ten. Like, yeah, there's a point where it got a little too it gets too much too high. Yeah, and you just can't. But what's good about this is 
you have to position it right, like onto your clit, and it, you have to finagle a little bit and move around yeah. and try and fit, you know, finagle with it. And you have to touch yourself. You have to touch your body and right. figure out where things are and what is too sensitive and where you like it. And you know, is it more the the vaginal stimulation that's you know you like and things like that. So right. it's it's a really good toy, just I think for learning your body in a different way to orgasm. Some people orgasm internally, other people you know clitorally and this one has an opportunity for both or together at the same time because yes. most people I know most females I know for myself you're either one or the other when it comes to to that if you get both you're lucky you're lucky or it's it's um you know I both can be soul of myself I can do it but with another person you know, I have yeah. my own way yeah so and a lot of females if you ask them who maybe aren't in the lifestyle or new to the lifestyle have no idea if you ask them they don't know which and they don't know a difference to it so if you don't know what gets you off or which way you know you prefer then you don't know what kind of feedback to give to your partner okay exactly so that leads me to since you are so educated on it is the female squirting there's a lot of controversy where some women say they can't mm -hmm. and then when they do they're convinced it's just urine they're not convinced that it's female ejaculation so what's your well that? I've had Low battery. I don't know what we're taking. We're taking a 10-second uh, <laughs> uh, intermission. We'll be right back. So I'm by curious and have been with women who have supported um, honey being one yesterday. And if any females ever tasted what female ejaculation tastes like, it is not your urine yes. by any means. Um, that is a lie, um, not to get an, you know, too anatomical, but you have a urethra and you have, you have two different holes and it is mm -hmm. what fluid comes out of it, it does not come out of your urethra, it is not a urine strain. However, it feels like it's going to. It, yeah, you get that pressure and that exactly. sensation of it. So your G-spot, just like for males with the prostate, sits up and what it stimulates it is on the bladder. So the bladder sits right above there, so that's why that feeling okay. is about the same. So when you go to have an orgasm, that feeling of squirting, it's that same contraction that you would feel when you would be right. pressured to, to urinate. So that's why females feel like they're going they're to pee yeah. when they that's do piss. it. It's piss. It is. It is not. Pee. It's not piss. It does, though, you do have to be hydrated, right? So, like, it, that is one myth is that, oh, well, if I drink a whole bunch of water, I can squirt, so it has to be urine. Well, no, it's still just anything else. It's hiding. You have to be hydrated. Hydrated. For it, um, which we joke about, but it's true. It's so we always say hydrate, ladies. Super it's valid. Different. Drink lots of water. It's for your own lubrication <laughs> and for for the squirting purposes. Any female could have the ability anatomically to, to, to squirt. squirt. They just haven't had the right partner. Exactly. Or, or teach they themselves. haven't felt. Or, teach the, or they haven't taught them. Right. I will yeah. say I think that yeah. most females they it's an, it's a scare, right? Like it's an uncomfortable thing at first, especially when you're teaching and it gets yeah. embarrassing. Like I don't want to pee on. Somebody, right, right. That's, you're 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 right. like not going to be fully relaxed. So I think teaching okay. yourself to squirt is almost a personal thing to do that first, mm -hmm. or at least being able to experiment with it. Yeah. Um, and then you're you're going to be more apt when you're in you know a relation or in with somebody else to do it. Right. So absolutely. The next toy. Love the question. He's learning. You are, right? <laughs> We're all learning. So this is the toy I got like six, ten years ago at a sex shop for like five dollars on sale rack, and it's the best thing I've ever had in my life. Um, it's a glass, you know, small dildo, but it's curved so it's a G-spot tickler, basically, with that being able to um, to stimulate the G-spot, but at your own um, at your own will. So a lot of them have a really big curve to them, and it misses it, right? Because not everybody, as we talked about, y'all. Her vaginas are built differently. Right. Some people are more based up, some are more tilted down, and again, you have to be able to find that. Right. So having this allows you, because you're controlling it from this side of the ball, so then you can, depending on if you move it up, down, right. it's go, you can go all around and find that spot yes. with you. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that also is gonna, it kinda goes into an in, in intercourse if you move from there. But you can find your own G spot that way, and it yeah. hits it, it's, once you find it and you stimulate that fast, I mean, it 
you can't help but not sport to a degree. It might not be the whole stream that you see on form, right. but you will have sporting within probably 30 seconds to a minute of using it once you are able to. Do you ever put it in the, in the freezer and make it cold? I've never done that. I've never done it either, but I've been at sex parties where they'll have them in the freezer. Really? Usually it's the big um, clear glass ones, right? But this is glass, so it would freeze. Yeah, I never for the cold. Mm -hmm. They put it in the freezer. I've never done it, but Ooh, I've done. Really I've had, had ice cubes put up inside me mm -hmm. and like stimulate with an icicle. Mm -hmm. I mean, ice cube, ice but I've never. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, huh. well, I'm gonna try it. I'll let you know. See, yeah. But no, this is like an awesome toy, and again, it's self, you know, experiment with it, and it's. I don't know what it is about it with this specific one or this like slight curve. It's it's so easy. It is. I mean, you can't. It's I, battery free. So you. Battery free. Last time through quarantine, I was using a dildo on myself and getting it out good, and the fucking end flipped off, and all the batteries went flying and it oh, nutted wow. off on me, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> then you have run out of batteries. Oh, oh man. I don't buy battery operated anymore. No, that's that's manual. And then like you, it, the other part like stick shift. is using it so when you're with partner so then you want to you know, sport or, or have that experience with a partner I have them use it on me and teach them how to use it on me right so I have them use it they can see the results and then teaching them okay no put your hand down you know down a little bit more okay a little bit faster and then they see it so it teaches them kind of where that spot is and where you like it and then that goes into when you're having intercourse what positions you have to move yourself in or to get into where you feel that same spot right. And that's how you, you learn your G spot, and it kind of. So this is the roadmap to your pussy. I think so, absolutely. <laughs> with anybody. So when you go on a date, she says, "Here you go." Any female, and I have limited female on female experience, <laughs> but any female that I've had to interact with one on one. It's so like simple and compact, and it is. I bring this out. Discreet. I mean, it's very it, fun. It is very. Fun. Yeah, you had some fun with it. I saw the video. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with it. No. You can't. That's what's the best part. That's why I use it with females. If I, I can't saw, screw it up. If I saw that in a sex shop, I would not buy it. Hell no. yeah, I would not. I would walk I away from that and say that's boring. But <laughs> the way you, you describe it, I totally get it. Mm -hmm. And I so. can't. I have to give credit. I didn't come up with this stuff by myself. I learned from watching porn. And there's a porn star, Nina Hartley. Okay. She's been in porn for 30 30, 40 some years. She's your favorite. She is my favorite. I learned a ton from watching her and from this. And she's a registered uh, nurse as well. So okay. she teaches, actually, she has instructional videos on how to give, like, eat um, pussy, basically, mm -hmm. with another female, and mm -hmm. also how to just work with those types of toys. And she does some bondage type um, um, mm -hmm. tutorials as well. And she uses it from a very anatomical point. Mm -hmm. Like if you watch her in her videos, what I kind of love is she, she wears black. She wears a black latex glove. Like she's very mm -hmm. like cognizant, and she talks about okay, you know, people having the clit, you know, clitoris this way, and this is you know the anatomy to it, and this okay. is why. So she's actually the person that I learned, especially with the the toy, um, the squirt toy, how to do it. Yeah, interesting. So there's there's stuff out there to learn. But I think for females, especially new, or just in general, anyone who doesn't have a lot of experience, if you aren't going to have the best possible sex you can with anybody, I don't care who the guy is and how great it is, until you know yourself and you have are comfortable with, with your own body and feeling these types of things. Because if not, you're gonna shut down. And if you're not comfortable and you are clammed up, it doesn't, it, right. it's not gonna be good sex. And especially when you come into something like a swingers lifestyle and a party in front of you know other people or you know with a new partner and your partner watching it that's on top of that it can be very nerve-wracking mm -hmm. so I think to have success in this lifestyle that's the key is to, to be able to know yourself first absolutely I think yes. that's female yes. it doesn't matter what the age is it can be it could be someone that's 20 years old come in and has discovered it, or someone who's 65 years old coming into it for the first time. Absolutely. Female sexual experiences are all completely different based on their their background. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything you want to input on that? You look quite mesmerized by that. No, I'm just paying attention to the it's ladies. Good stuff. You know, sometimes Our you got vagina monologues. Sometimes you got to just sit back and pay attention to what the ladies talking about, mm -hmm. so you can learn their body. So exactly. my question exactly. to you. So
also, as someone who's been in the lifestyle and been with females in it, do you find that true? That there's females who don't seem to know their body or don't seem to be as absolutely comfortable, comfortable. exactly comfortable, or they're mm -hmm. ones that do. And how does that like transition into the different sex? See, for a woman that knows her body, she knows how to please herself. And she's not solely dependent on you to please her. And she she's going to coach you along on what to do because she knows her body. Uh, a woman that, that don't know her body, she'll sit there and get upset because she mm -hmm. don't know how to tell you what to do. Right. You learn how to fuck yourself. So it. when you learn how to fuck yourself, mm -hmm with the dick inside you mm -hmm. and wiggle to whichever side that you would like yep. it to be at. Right. See, I know a woman that know her body when we're having sex and I let her take control and I just sit and stand there something. Mm -hmm. And I'm just her personal human talking, yeah. walking deal though for a second. And, and, then, and then once I find out, okay. you know, right. where her spot at or whatnot, that's when I go into overdrive right. and I stay on that spot. I think I've gotten accused of being a little bossy before, but it's not bossy. It's just I know, you know what, you like. what positions are going to feel good. If you approach a grown woman, know how to deal mm -hmm. with a grown woman. And, and we will tell you right there, right there. If it's going to feel good and it's on my G-spot, for some reason, maybe it's a magical gift, I know it's going to feel just as it hits right. It hits for the guy. Too. Right. So it's it's just as enjoyable like yeah. for them. I can tell that it's better for them as well. That's normally the spot where they come as well for yeah. So, so some guys just don't like the fact that women say, you know, they want this position, they want that position because that's what they, you know, that's what they know. That's what they know. That's what they think. Mm -hmm. and, and for a female, be like, no, no, let me, you know, move, switch my legs over mm -hmm. to this side, or let me move my hips this way. And yeah. Because every woman body is different. Mm -hmm. Every single one. And, and, and men got to recognize that. That's why I hate the question. What's your favorite position? I don't. It depends on the person. It's different with everybody. Yeah, and, right? and height. If, if you're taller, or shorter, or thicker, or wider. If the bed's lower or higher, it's, it changes the whole position. If they have a curb, if they're thicker. Yeah, that's why I say all of them. That's why I'm all. I'll tell you which one's my favorite. After that's what I say. I like them all, so we'll just try you like them all. You some just have guy, to learn how to fuck them all. Because that's what I said. You tell somebody yeah. what your favorite spot is. That's what they're gonna go for, and you'll be like. So I just say all of them. So I said, why don't we just test them all? I'll tell you what yeah. our favorite. I'll yeah. tell you what our favorite we'll, position is. we'll find that's our what favorite I, because it, it, yeah. it's fireworks you know they know is a feeling like when it's it's hitting the right spot like it's you don't have to communicate to it yeah and they know it's it very too. true and it's just being open to like again moving around and again it's being comfortable right like sometimes mm -hmm. that's stopping in the middle of it and sometimes it's getting in positions that maybe aren't the sexiest looking ones or using you know, props or, or mm -hmm. um, things like the wedges or pillows to right. know that you need to get your your bottom up to get at this angle in that or sometimes it's not even on a bed it has to be over a chair exactly. or yep over a couch and once you learn the angle and how to hit those those spots and it's the same thing with giving head actually mm -hmm. it's all about being and hitting the right angle to be able to to, to accommodate those spots so and it's not always it's graceful and it's not the four positions that you see in every single porn movie in the same different order every single time like if you ask most porn stars they they don't it's not enjoyable like the, the positions that they're doing it in it's not it's not what's feeling good it's yeah what's looking good for the yeah. camera they're normally very rarely positions that are actually what they would prefer to do absolutely yeah. if you ever watch porn it is it's awkward because you can't have your hand there, and this person has to move this way, and be able to see And the stuff. face has to be seen, and the hair has to be down. Yep, and you have to have, you, you know, You can't really, food. like, pussy to the side like that. I don't know mm -hmm. how guys, like, keep their balance with, like, the one arm and not getting it in the shot with it. Yeah. And having to, like, you know, you can't get, you have to stay back far enough, and that's why they get paid the big money. Exactly. <laughs> yep, and the females like, have to be able to take what they throw at them, basically. So, very true. So what do you think of these toys, Diggs? Uh, you guys see them. <laughs> Diggs is the toy guy. Uh, I call him a toy master. He's always known how to. I, I like the toys. I like the fact that they've gone Bluetooth and, you know, with smartphones and stuff. And like she said, you know, you can be in a restaurant or out at yeah. wherever, dinner, you know, and you can, you know, play with your significant other, your wife or something like that. And 
Sends you a very nice Valentine's Day gift. Yeah, you know, I mean, you Christmas, can, mm -hmm. can, birthday, just it, because I love special you. Special occasion. It's almost like that. That Spice you know, it's Spice almost Spice. like that. That treasure in the box that the geeky guy has that never gets the girl, but he has that one little toy. That one trick in the box uh -huh. that none of the jocks can do, none of the badasses can do, yeah. but he can do. So, you know, when you have that, you can kind of be like, hey, I bet you I can do this. kind of cool. Even, well, what I, I can do. Well, I'm even looking at her, I bet you I can do You're that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> we were at the casino, <laughs> he had, and I was standing, and all of a sudden he did something, and I grabbed a hold of the thing, and the guy looked at me, and I go, what? And I went, and he went, Point and, the guy, and the guy went, because he held his phone over and he shook his phone and he was like, and he looked at me he's like, what are you guys? Said, so what are you and then, then he did it again. I said, I'm, I'm <laughs> good. So it took the guy a minute. He, he took a minute to get, and he's like, oh. Oh, he brought that thingy up inside you. The go to is you have a tens unit that's on, right? And it's like you have That's basically what that is. exactly what it is. I have a tens unit. Well, that's stuck basically what that is. I've stuck it on my nipples. I didn't stick it on my clip, but I've stuck it on my nipples and I'll get it up to 10. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of I, what though? Well, it's like a one through ten. On a ten, ten is a ten, and I'll get it to ten, yeah. and it's like. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> but so, I like it. I keep it there. I see it in like the bondage, and especially in some of the porn, they use them on the inner thighs too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm only ever stuck it on my nipples. That's like just crazy to put on your nipples. Yeah. But to do it on your inner <laughs> thighs, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love because the Because it's the muscle contraction to yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. The Bluetooth set up, the Wi-Fi you've got in your house. I mean, possibilities are endless. Things you can do with it, so it's got to have the imagination. Cool. And toys anymore don't have batteries. Typically, they're normally all rechargeable. Waterproof. Waterproof, yeah. So, you know, you're not... Silicone. They're not non-breakable, though, because uh, we busted the Tachis <laughs> many right. times. There's a Tachis bust. What the one with the ball on the end and then this the wand a wand oh okay but if you get the too heavy back. hitter on your clit that pops the, it pops it right here i've busted so many because i hold it too hard don't buy the corded mm -hmm. one either we oh, remember yeah. i had a cord we blew it up that one time we had a big party and we blew that corded one like she fire did. shot out of it they're yeah, just not really meant yeah. to like yeah. they don't hold up very well yeah. they're fun yeah so if you're gonna buy it you might as well they're fun. Uh oh, I see Honey over there digging something out. She here's oh, yeah. her little Tachi. That's mm -hmm. her travel size one. And you just hold yeah, it. And you gets, hold it and it yeah, this just goes right on the clay. Ooh, that's right. It's strong. But this is nice though because and the cap comes off. Because it I, it moves. The whole cap know. comes off and yeah. you can clean it. Oh okay. And you can change the cap. Okay. Yeah, the you can probably get thing ribbed comes ones off. or things with different. Yeah. Yeah, you push the button, it turns on, and when you hold it down, it gets the intense gotcha. I have a little one that's a tube of lipstick. I have that, too. And yeah. I just keep it in my purse. And yeah, it that's off. actually in the back there. And that's it's normal. real tiny. It doesn't do a lot, but it's it'll great. get you through if you have, like, a minute. It's, it's pretty You're intense. in the family restroom, and you're in there, and you're like, okay. <laughs> the only thing they need to do now is make them quieter, I think. Yeah. yeah. So for discretion. For discretion. Yeah. yeah. You got sex toys too up there. Yeah, You're yeah. a toy master too. You got yeah. a toy chest. Yeah. Ooh, I got maybe quite we a, need to do a little tour. Yeah, I, I, I got quite a selection of tools from because I'm into pleasing Damn. the ladies. You know. mm, we might have to do a swap. Yeah, <laughs> yeah your toys are, are new to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's got that toy a little bit more like. After this is like you know beginner. Right, that's level. beginner, and you have like advanced. It's intermediate to advanced. I'm a little, I'm a little advanced. <laughs> when it comes to um, sex and sex toys, and sex of oh, that's just, that's probably another good thing the OG to do if you're not familiar with these. Yeah. It's better to start out that way. And then, and then build yourself up. Well, I think it's important to have the reviews the too, steps. because I would never have bought this. Absolutely. I this this intimidated me uh, when I, mean, I saw it, but you it got really sense. good reviews on it. Shit. It was like life changing. It is like you read but like I said, would that would would you want that to be your first? No, you want to start basic with your basics right. to learn, and then as you learn your body and learn what 
then keep progressing up. Because if you want to start like on something like that, that, you're going to get frustrated. Right. I think this one's a good, because you can do different levels like with this, but the little clip vibrator for sure, just a regular um, That's on low. dildo. Just push down. Just not keep the, your thumb on it. It's old, you know, vibrating dildo, but work? the ones that are like now so it's wow. shaped. Yeah. So you just keep your thumb yes. on it and it's are huge. And yeah, then powerful. And now they have all kinds of little mm -hmm. hooks for the clit, the anal, and they're like, it looks like an alien. It's like, how do I use this? Uh, and I think the big, and I, Maybe it's not into like females don't watch it to get off, but watch porn. Yeah. Like porn is you'll huge. Learn you will learn a lot, and you'll learn. Yeah, some things are gonna be too extreme for you or not what you want, but you're gonna learn quite a bit from watching right. it. And it, you also just nothing else. It opens up your eyes that, that there is a whole different world. Okay, so when you watch porn, what's your favorite category? Depends what kind of mood I'm in, but I mean mm -hmm. it really just totally depends. Sometimes it's female, female, okay. female, female, female. I always Sometimes do girl and girl. I'll or it's totally. female, female, male. Um, okay. Like when I got back in the swingers lifestyle, it was always, you know, a couple finds, you know. Single unicorn. female. Yeah, unicorn. or, yeah, exactly, right. Or, you know, mm -hmm. the babysitter, that kind of thing. So I'm like, a little yeah. bit of role play. Um, I can find a fuck the landlord one. But. Fuck the landlord. Uh, well, let's just make one. Maybe we need to make one. Well, that's, that's yeah, that was kind of why I want to start. Yeah, that that would be a nice episode. Yes. Fuck the landlord. Yes. Um, or, and then there's sometimes I like gang bangs. Um, mm -hmm. it, it just really just depends. Very mm -hmm. I just yeah. always get right to girl on girl. Well, it's like just, girl in it. Yeah. it just always does it for me. But it needs to be about the girls. Like, I don't like the thing form. Like, I actually. I like when there's a little story, like you get a little blurb, I like to work up to it. Right. Or the girl party or something. Yeah. I like the old school porn stars that like actually have personality, right? That aren't just acting, mm. it's not an acting to it. It's yeah. And they're talking and they're vocal with one another. It's not so much just about like moaning to it and making the sounds because that's about as fake as it can possibly get. Anyone, most guys or anyone can tell you, you watch porn and the orgasm are Oh yeah, like you can. Yeah. I mean, it's about the biggest thing yeah. you can yeah. see. And yeah. what gets people off, I think, is the authenticity of it, right? That's why people like watching live, you know, mm -hmm. or seeing. Um, Which is seeing why we all get well, get along so well because we love porn, we love sex, we can be together and watch porn live. Exactly. You know? I love watching one of them. I mean, we have such yeah. a good time just watching everybody. Like last night, we had this party this weekend. It was intense. And just to see all these people that we spend all day looking online at. And, and good morning, good morning, good morning. Sexy pic, sexy pic. But to see, it's tiny down, babe. But to see, like, everybody, low battery. Just, like, mixing and mingling and, and is incredible. And it's what got me, actually, the first time I ever went to a swingers club, because I had lived kind of the swingers lifestyle unofficially, but what got me, uh, what I wanted to go to the swingers club for, because I should see what happened there, was I had, my fantasy was I wanted to be watched. Like, I wanted to do it in front of people, people. Like in, in a, you know, that type of setting. And that was an amazing experience. Like, the, the club wow. itself sucked. It was horrible. Like, I mean, there wasn't, like, a lot of people, but... I saw sort of like I was giving head to the person I came with. I came mm -hmm. with someone very experienced who's making me comfortable. So we worked our way up to the different public areas. Mm -hmm. And we were in one of the public areas and I was giving him head. And there was people watching couples who were sitting on a bed together, mm -hmm. like getting off. And there was other guys just getting off together. And I had an orgasm, like just giving him head. No one, mm -hmm. no, nothing right. touching me, right. anything at all. You're and so it, turned on in the moment. Like literally full on mm -hmm. orgasm. Mm -hmm. Like it scared the yeah, I like got up and like I was like, what the fuck just happened? What just happened to me? Yeah, I was like, that couldn't have really happened. Yeah, it was insane. It yeah. was intense yeah. thing I never yeah. experienced. Yeah. yeah, that's incredible. Oh, yeah. Love it, love it. Well, thank you for sharing all your awesome. stories with us and educating us today. I think we'll have a lot of people feel good about this one. Yeah. So and just talk to your girlfriends. Yeah, ask people, especially in the lifestyle. It's all about empowerment for the women. You know, we want each other to feel good about it. And just like you said, learn your own sexuality. Education's power. Yes. So, peace out, guys. Love y'all. <laughs>